Okay, Jonah, a therapeutic. If you could break down what inspired you for the name change, you just kind of told us, but but go in depth into your mind and into your spirit, brother, about mm -hmm. the person that you felt that you were or that Zonezilla represented, and then just what truly inspired you to like change your name. And the music that I've heard from you, there's absolutely little to no cursing, is very intelligent. Just speak a little bit about that transformation, brother. Yeah, it, it, that was sort of a transformation. <clears throat> Uh, I moved out of uh, San Jose, California. I lived there most of my young child, my young life, and then uh, we, uh, my dad wanted us to move out of San Jose to Reno, Nevada, because he thought that the drugs were getting very bad, and I was going to get into some drugs. And I ended up in Reno, got more drugs than I ever had. But that, that's another story. I don't do drugs anymore, though. Of course, that's, how, that's basically how my family ended up. Uh, San Jose to Serino. I, I, I was always rapping. I was always in the rap, especially when I was young. Grew up all like Dr. Dre and I was, So I came to Arena, Nevada, had to start all over, met new people, uh, uh, came up with a few friends, uh, and you're one of them, of course, uh, a, group of, a group of homies. And that's all I had in Reno. So imagine just coming to a new place, not having any friends, not knowing anybody. So that's how I got into the drug thing and uh, people around were using. And uh, actually, uh, and then that's how I went by. I met Dakota, I met Ray, and I'm glad I met them because they're really the ones that, you know, checked on somebody, you know, made sure I was doing good. So uh, much props for you for that, uh, for having someone. You gave me the friends that I needed or, or you know, the different outlets. You know, we get together and have these talks about what we always wanted to do with our lives. So that helped me a lot. That was part of my transformation. Then I moved out of Reno to Arizona, having to meet more new people. And just went through a lot of things. And um, I don't want to get into anything personal, but, you know, just uh, not having a job and just, you know, kind of falling backwards in life. And I just... Always, music was always there. You know, it was that different outlet. And uh, so uh, I stopped doing the, the drugs. I still smoke a little weed here and there, but that, that's on the low. You know what I mean? But, uh, but honestly, uh, I, I mentioned the drugs because, you know, that was uh, a big thing in my life. And uh, I've had plenty of episodes where I almost lost my life off a of, of, uh, of drug. So I'm glad and lucky to be alive here. Uh, and uh, I, even, I even quit everything for six months, even weed and everything. Who knows, man? I, I'm thinking about quitting again. But, and one, one thing I'm not quitting is my music. So uh, the transformation from Zonezilla, basically Zone, it was kind of like a rap name. Like I get into my zone when I'm rapping and just be in my own world. Also, the Zone also meant on a deeper level, how I just feel like, Things would get to me in the world, and uh, I would just be in my zone, and it won't, it won't, won't, won't want to talk to nobody for for about, about a day or something. That was a different zone. So that that zone that has two different meanings. Mm, and yeah. uh, Arizona, the therapeutic, the new me, which really is just to doing this music, you know, what I'm saying living life, learned a lot, have transformed plenty of times, you know, and now it's just forming into something great, especially with this music. So the new Jonah, therapeutic, uh, would basically tell the old Jonah, Zonezilla, uh, basically just, just chill out, man. Do what you gotta do. Don't let outsiders stop you from what you're trying to do and just do what you know you gotta do. If you sit around and do nothing, then your time will just go by and you'll, you'll be, you'll be doing nothing. And before you know it, you'll be like 40, 50, and just boom, time is just going by. So. I definitely have a life and I want to do something with it. And my music is therapeutic. And I find music therapeutic. And I find homie therapeutic. Anything could be therapeutic. You know, uh, mm -hmm. so this new Jonah has a lot more uh, positive outlook in different ways, seeing things. And that's basically the name therapeutic because I call my name therapeutic because I thought I needed a therapist, someone to talk to to come to the right thing. So I just named myself therapeutic because I had to be my own therapist. No one else can help you if you don't tell them. You know what I'm saying? If you don't tell people, then you're going to have to deal with this. And I had to deal with a lot of issues 
and I had to be my own therapist. So that's why the new name is therapeutic. And the old name, Zillazilla, I told you that, that, you know, why I call myself that. And, you know, basically just being in a new place, you know, trying to do the right thing and bumping into people, being around the wrong people sometimes, a lot of times, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's basically all, all it is, you know what I mean? It's just my life, man. Let, let me, uh, <clears throat> you know, not to cut you off, but knowing you personally and, you know, I was with you when we both, we, we did drugs together, you know, in the past many of moon and, um, and, but I want to salute you on your personal journey, man. Cause the drugs is a, is something we speak heavily about on this platform mm-hmm. and my own personal journey. I'll be a year fucking, I smoke and drink, but that's sober to me. You know what I mean? In the fucked up way. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to salute you to recognizing your your flaws, salute your, your you know your hangups, and actively attempting, bro, to live a, a truly sober life. And the fact that you don't even really smoke weed like that, man. Uh, I and do the admi- growth and your growth, his growth. Yeah, I do admire that. Just on some real shit. And uh, thank you for sharing that story, bro. And, uh,